let's talk about using multiple windows in tkinter. What we're going to make for this bit is going to look something like this. Inside of this app, we have three buttons. If I click on the top one, open main window, we are opening another window. This is a completely separate tkinter window and inside of this one, we can create any kind of layout. Although in my case, I stuck with a simple one, but this could be much more complex. This window, you can also close inside of the window itself, like so, or if I open it again, I can also close it inside of the main window, like so. Besides that, you can also create a more focused window. For example, sometimes you only want to ask a user a yes or no question. For that, tkinter has a more dedicated option that looks something like this. In here, you can click either yes or no, let's click on no, and then it disappears. The input you can also capture and then use for whatever purpose. And tkinter has a couple of options for that. We're going to explore all of them. But let's talk about it in a bit more detail first, and then we can jump into the code. Inside of tkinter, you have two options for extra windows. The first one is called a message box. And these are more specialized windows. For example, if you want to create an alert or a yes or no dialog, you would use a message box. Besides that, you have top level, and this is going to create a whole new window. Inside of that window, you can create any kind of layout and use any widget you want. I already have a couple of lines of code ready. If I execute all of this, we have a window and we have a couple of buttons, although none of the buttons do anything right now. We are importing tkinter up here, we are creating a window here, we are creating three buttons here, and then we are running the main loop. All of this at this point should be fairly straightforward. But now I want to actually make these buttons do something. And I'm going to start with button number three. This is going to create a yes, no window. I want to trigger all of that inside of a function. So let me add a command method. I call this one ask yes, no. This function we have to create and I will do that all the way at the top. Define ask yes, no. There's no need for parameters. And in here, just to test if this is working, let's print test. If I run the entire thing now, and I click on create yes, no window, we can say test. That's a pretty good start. What I now have to figure out is how to create an actual message box in here. And for that, we have to import something else from tkinter. What we need all the way at the top is from tkinter import what is called a message box all in lowercase letters. Inside of this message box, we have a couple of objects that we could use for a, well, message box. The option you have just seen is called message box dot ask question. Inside of this one, you have to add two strings. The first one is for the message box title. Let's call it title for now. Besides that, for the second argument, we need a string for the body. Let me call this one body like so. And now if I run this and I click on create yes no window, we can see we have another window with title, body, and then I can click yes or no. Let me click on yes and it disappears. And that is basically it. Although I suppose there's one more thing you have to understand. And that is that all of this here returns the answer, which means I can store what is being returned in a separate variable and then print answer. And now if I run this again, I click on create yes, no window. And if I click on yes, we can see yes in the bottom. And if I click on no, we can see no. That way you can use this one here to get the actual user input. And that's kind of all you have to know. If you got this far, all you really have to know is that there are different kinds of methods you can use to create a simple message box. And there's a really good website to explain all of them. Let me open it right away. It is looking like this. And in here, you can see all of the options you can work with. The one I've just used is called ask question. Besides that, I could ask, okay, cancel. I could ask yes, no. I could ask yes, no, cancel. I could also show just an info or a warning or an error. And well, these are all very simple windows. Let's play around with a couple of them, but this shouldn't be too difficult. Here I'm back in the code and I want to comment out what I've just done. So this part here. Besides that, I want to get my message box and show info. For this one, I want to display some information. 
And now if I run this, click on the button, we have some information for the title, but no actual text. This happened because we need two arguments in here, one for the title and one for the body of the text, like we have done up here. Let's change this one right away. I want to call this one the info title. The second argument is going to be here is some information. Now if I run this again and I click on the button, now we have here some information. Besides that, we can get rid of show info and show an error. If I run this again, we have an error message. Looks basically identical, except now we have an X here. And with that, we have basically all we are ever going to need for these simple boxes. Let me add the link to the website here so you can find it yourself. It's super useful. With that, we have covered the simple windows. Next up, let's create some more complex ones. I'm going to minimize the ask yes, no function and create another one. This one I'm going to call create window. It doesn't need any parameters. And in here, I want to create a whole new window that can do basically anything a normal tkinter window can do. For that, we need a new widget. This is called tk top level. This is going to return an object that works kind of like the window in the sense that you can just add other widgets to it and then they are going to be displayed. Let me store this in a variable actually. Let's call it extra window. And just to get started, let's actually run this function when we are pressing this button here, which means on this button, I want to have a command that is creating the window. If I run this now and I click on open main window, we have another window. And this one, let me move it to the side, doesn't really do anything right now. The only thing we can really see is that we have multiple windows as the title for both of them. But this we can change. So let me close all of this. And what we can do with this window is basically the same that we can do with this window down here. For example, we could get the extra window and set the title to extra window. And we could also get the geometry and set this to, let me use a larger number, let's say 800 by 300. If I run this now and I click on open main window, there we go. We have another larger window that we can work with. Although let's use smaller numbers so this isn't getting too large. What I used in the demo is 300 by 400, but these numbers are entirely up to you. On top of that, what you can do is create other widgets and place them in here. For example, what I have done is I created TTK label and the parent here has to be this extra window. So extra window, and then we can add some text. For example, a label, and this I want to pack right away. Running this now, I can click on open main window and we have a label inside of this extra window. I could do this another time, except now I want to use a button. Let me run this again. And there we go, we have a label and a button. Although with the wrong text in there, let me change it right away. This should be a button. And just to finish the demo here, what I have done, what you've seen in the opener, I have created another label and this is going to be another label. And for this one pack, I have set expand being true. Now if I run this entire thing, I can click on open main window and there we go. We have another window. You could also use a grid method or a place method in here. It works like any other widget in tkinter. Finally, what I want to cover is how to destroy this window. And there's one very easy way. If I run this again, I click on open main window and I can simply close this window by clicking on the X up here and then it disappears. But besides that, I also want to be able to close the window by clicking on this close main window, which we can't do right now. For that, I want to create another function, close window. No need for parameters once again. And this close window, I want to call on the middle button, which means this one is going to need a command, like so. And all we really have to do now is somehow get this variable, let me use it right away, extra window, although this wouldn't work right now. And I have to call the destroy method on it. The reason why this is not going to work right now is because this extra window only exists inside of the scope of this create window function. 
To fix that, we can simply declare it as a global variable, extra window, and now it is available everywhere, which means this function here should already work. I can open this window, I move it to the side, and if I click on close main window, it disappears. With that, you should know how to use multiple windows. It really doesn't get that much more complicated. Although there's one exercise I really want to do. And that is that this kind of approach is not really ideal because it gets kind of messy. You're creating a ton of local variables inside of a function and you work with lots of widgets. This doesn't really feel organized. What you should rather do is create an extra class. Let me call it extra right away and put all of the stuff inside of this extra class. And that is going to be your exercise. So this extra class should be a top level widget and contain all of these widgets. And then you're creating this extra widget when you're calling the create window function. Pause the video now and try to implement this one. First of all, this extra has to inherit from TK pop level. With that, we are recreating this line here. Although for that to work properly, we have to call an init method that has self and nothing else. Inside of that, we have to call the super dunder init method. Although it doesn't need any arguments. Now we have recreated this entire line. Let me start by copying the title because all we have to do now is call self and then the title. The same thing we have to do for geometry, meaning I can copy this one as well, except for the class, we have to run self and geometry. And with that, we should already have a basic window, which means I can comment out all of this stuff here. And instead, I want to assign the extra class to the extra window. That way, this one here is still going to work. Let me run the entire thing now. And if I click on open window, we can see we have an extra window. That's a pretty good start. So next up, we have to create all of these widgets here, which is going to be very simple. I just have to copy them and remove the comment and fix the indentation. Besides that, now the parent isn't going to be the extra window. It is just going to be self. That didn't go particularly well. This is looking much better. Now the label, the button, and the other label are all children of the extra widget, which means I can try all of this again. I can click on open main window, and there we go. We have an extra window. And what is even better now is that the entire extra window is inside of a separated class. That way, when I'm calling the function, all of this is very easy to work with. And if you had the entire app, so all of this one here as well inside of a class, you wouldn't even need global. You can simply turn this extra window into an attribute and then work with this in any kind of method.